Hello from the beautiful Agrigento. We are in South Sicily and are leaving today the coast to drive through the mountainous interior of the island to the picturesque hilltop uh, town of Enna. Let's go! We start from our accommodation in Agrigento, spent two nights here, was very very nice. Agrigento is the capital uh, of the province with the same name, having a population of about uh, 60,000 inhabitants. It was one of the leading cities in, um, of uh, Magna Grecia uh, during the golden age of ancient Greece. It was founded on a plateau overlooking uh, the sea with two ne um, nearby rivers around the year 580 BC by Greek colonists from Crete and Rhodes. Some of them coming from uh, Gela, founded about 100 years before. During the 4th century BC, enormous uh, construction project uh, took place here in Valle dei Templi, with massive uh, Greek temples being uh, built here. Agrigento, Akragos, um, how it was uh, named in antiquity, suffered destruction during the Punic Wars and was ceded to Rome after the Second Punic War, who renamed the city to Agrigentum. Following the Norman conquest of Sicily in the 11th century, the castle was built, but the population declined during the Middle Ages, reviving only after the 18th century. Nowadays, Agrigento is a major tourist center due to its um, extraordinarily rich architectural heritage. Ancient uh, Akragos covers a huge area, much of it uh, still uh, un unexcavated today, exemplified by the value of the temples that comprises a large uh, sacred area with uh, seven monumental Greek temples. Some of um, the best preserved Greek buildings outside Greek Greece, it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Much of the present-day Agrigento is modern, but um, there are uh, still some medieval and baroque buildings. We did an extensive walk on its um, st uh, steep streets to get a, get a better glimpse of the traditional way of life in uh, this part of Sicily. Being on a high hill, there, was a, there are wonderful uh, views to the seaside and the agricultural lands um, around. From um, Agrigento, we will uh, be driving on the good quality SS 640 National Road, built with an, as, um, an, expressway, um, with an expressway profile until Caltaniceta. <coughs> We will climb from about 100 meters above sea level to over 500 meters, crossing a nice uh, green uh, rolling hills region. We will bypass Caltaniceta to the south on um, SS 640 Deer and then drive on a variety of other national roads, SS 626, SS 122 and SS 117, uh, climbing then uh, to the hilltop uh, town of Ena on the provincial road SP1. It was a nice uh, hilly drive, had a great time uh, driving uh, through this part of Sicily. Now let's enjoy the drive with some music and uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell in order to receive a notification when I'm sharing a new video from our road trips. I'll be back in uh, Enna and until then just sit back, relax and enjoy the ride.
bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free.
with you. I can't be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. With you, I wanna stay with you. With you, I love the way that you love me today. Let's run up through the fields where the sun shines and heals. With you, I wanna stay with you. It's been so cold since you have been gone. Like I was told.
Hello once again, we are now in the geographical midpoint of Sicily, driving through the old town of Enna to the castle. Hope you enjoyed the nice hilly drive through the interior of Sicily. Enna lies high on a hill at about 930 meters altitude, being the highest Italian province capital. It has a population of about 27,000 uh, inhabitants and has a wonderful position with great views to the neighboring uh, lower countryside. Also, Enna volcano is to be seen uh, from here on clear days. En Enna flourished uh, during the Middle Ages as an important Byzantine uh, stronghold. In uh, 859 it was captured by the Muslims who also massacred um, a big part of the town's population. The Normans uh, captured uh, Enna in uh, 1087, ending the Muslim occupation. It developed uh, during the next uh, centuries as it was a great uh, military stronghold dominating the neighboring uh, regions. Enna preserved uh, most of its historical heritage. Its main uh, sites include the Lombardy Castle, the Cathedral, built in the 14th century, Palazzo Vavizano, Torre di Federico, an ancient uh, octagonal tower, San Tomasa Church, uh, Church and one of the um, former seven uh, gates of uh, the old town. Lake uh, Pergusa is an important nature reserve situated eight, uh, five kilometers away. Um, around the lake there is also an important racing track, Autodromo di Pergusa, that hosted also Formula One uh, contests. We visited Enna for a few hours, did a nice walk around the castle and through the old town. We enjoyed also the great views around, it was uh, very nice here. Now we'll end filming as we park our car in front of the castle. Hope you enjoy the drive and stay tuned for uh, many more videos from our road trips from different regions that will be shared here on the channel. Bye bye and till the next time.